Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we will be considering the topic we have right there on the screen. As we are going to be making progress. I want to urge you to stay attentive throughout the lesson for a better understanding. Straight away, let us make progress into the lesson. Here is a drawing imported from Porta Detail. Quickly, I want to be I want to be zooming closely to one of these beam so as to use it to demonstrate the lesson of today. And so let's consider this particular beam. I will highlight all of that. Then I will use move move it to this point, zoom it in just like this. Now we are having this one as our title of this uh, beam, and we have this as the dimensional, the dimension text. All right. So I will want us to understand how the scale of this particular drawing relates to this text uh, dimension, text height, and as well as title, as well as title, text height. And other texts that contained in this drawing. All right. So earlier, or in the last lesson, we discussed about the scales of the drawing. And this particular drawing, we are able to confirm that the drawing is in scale one is two, uh, fifty. All right. You will have to check that if you highlight this dimension, and you go straight away to the property. You screw down to primary unit, this one, you will notice that you have 0 0.5. And I say that this 0 0.5, you use it to multiply 100 to get 50, which is the scale of this drawing. All right. And so, for us to apply this scale straight away to this dimension, there is something we need to consider. Now, we have what we call a 3 size paper body test. Now, uh, the air to cell paper body test varies. It is not constant. And so, each company has their own air to size body test. Some company use 1.75, some company use 2, some company use 1.85. It depends. But I want to say that Proton Structure software use 2 for their body test. Now, I want you to understand what is this body test. Now, as you can see, if I should come over here to where I have the property, then I screwed to where I have text, and I check here, I can see text height is 100. The text height of this particular text now is 100. Now, how come about this 100? This 100 is the body text multiplied by the scale. That is what how you get this uh, this uh, text height you are having here. Again, you will use the body text to multiply it by the scale of this drawing. The scale of this drawing is 50. So if you use the if you use the the body text to multiply by the scale, you have this 100. And the body test for proto detail is two. All right, so that is how came about this uh, text height, dimension text height. We want to confirm that too. You can do D on the keyboard, enter. If you take it to dimension star manager, select the beam, click on modify. In the modify dialog, under this tab, select text tab. In the text tab, you can see there you have it as hundred there. Okay. 100 there, and if you come to primary units, you have the scale of 0.5, which is equivalent to 50. And then 2 multiply by this 50, which is the scale factor, we give you this text height. This, te this, this text height is not prompting here because it, it was uh, imputed right away here. All right, this is where you can change it. All right, so it is 2, which is their body text. They use it to multiply by 50, which is the scale of the drawing, to be able to obtain this 100 right there. 
I believe that is very clear. Okay, so I want to be clicking on current and then I will close that. Okay, that as well and close this. So having understand how the text height of uh, dimension came about, we want to understand the title text height. The title text height is two times the dimension text height. For it to obtain this title text height, you used to to multiply the dimension text height, meaning the dimension text height was 100 mm multiplied by 2, which is 200. That is to say, this title text height is 200. Let's confirm that. Select so right there on the title text title text and go to the way to the property. On that text, you can see here, height is what? 200. So this is how they come about this 200. They used to, to multiply. Text, title text height is always two times the dimension text. It is always two times the dimension text. And so in your own case, you can choose your body text either to be 1.7, either to be 2.5, and then you apply this method to be able to set your text height and your dimension for the sake of uniformity during printing. All right, that is how it works. The same thing I should escape that. The same thing applicable to these ones. This text here, you will notice that all of this text here, this one I'm select, I'm selecting now. This one, this one for the rebars are also. The same thing, they are 100. They, they use the, the body text of the A3 paper to multiply by the scale factor. So this is the relationship that exists between the scale of your drawing and the text of your drawing. You can decide to you know, change this if you think this will not be visible enough, as in it will be readable enough. You can change the body text from 2 to 2.5 so once you change the body text from 2 to 2.5 simply means you are multiplying 50 which is the scale of uh, this drawing by 2.5 and if you do that straight away let's see what we will have 2.5 multiplied by 50 equals to 125 right so instead of 100 you are now having 125 so this is the one this 125 now this 2.5 is the body text while the 50 is the scale of the drawing okay so this 2.5 is what you're not going to impute in this provision when you impute it here where you have 100 you will replace the existing one with 125 which will now increase the text height all right the same thing is applicable in every other situation where you are setting your drawing board. You sh should make sure that you put all of this into consideration so as to provide a uniformity after printing your drawing. And so, the same thing also applicable to this particular section text. All right, so this is the lesson of today i believe strongly that this is very very clear if you have any questions you can drop it at the comment section and stay tuned for more advanced lesson bye for now